Hello, welcome to Maximino News, or as you Americans call it, the greatest news on Channel 3. Let's see what's going on in that Peruvian kitchen. Kaylee? I'm here in everybody's favorite Peruvian restaurant, El Poi Inca. There, over the years, Peruvian cuisine has been influenced by many cultures, including Europe, Asia, and West Africa. There's three parts to the cuisine. There's corn, potatoes, and legumes, which include beans. The most food is stew, corn pancakes, and rice. My favorite is Italian verde, a Spanish basil, basil sauce. Well, my favorite is the Lomo Saltado. Back to you, Riley. That sounds delicious. Now I'm going to fill you guys in on the Peruvian government. Peru is a democratic republic. The highest representative is the president of the republic. They are elected every five years, along with 130 representatives in the Peruvian Congress. They are elected universal, secret, and direct votes. The current president of Peru is Alanto Humila Tasso, who was elected for a term from 2011 to 2016. Thanks, Riley, for the info. Now, we'll hear from Sam about Machu Picchu after this. If you like extreme sports, then you will love the amazing International Adventure Sports Festival. Come to Lima, our great capital, from February 23rd to 24th. If you want to compete, it's not too late. Call 1-900-SPORTS-ADVENTURE right now. Tickets are available from $50 to $500. Hurry now, they won't be available for long! Here's Sam. <laughs> In Peru. A Yale University professor traveled to Peru in the search of ancient Inca ruins. He hiked through the Urubamba Valley and met up with a man named Melchor Artiega, who lived in the area. He claimed that he had found ancient Inca ruins. Bingham asked him to take him there, and he did. There he Bingham was amazed at what he had found. There before him stood the ancient Inca ruins of Machu Picchu. And here I am now. Machu Picchu is 7,000 feet high and was once separated into three sections. It is in the Yorubamba Valley and is in the Andean mountain range. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Sam. I can't wait to visit it someday. Now to Isabella with the history of Thanks, Riley. Several different tribes occupied Peru throughout its history. One tribe was the Incas. They conquered Peru and many other countries in South America. Like Sam said earlier, a professor from Harvard found the lost city in 1911. In 1983, a tragic weather change happened in Peru, and Peru was affected very badly. Many houses were washed away and people were severely hurt. It was called El Niño. Another important part of Peru Peru's history is its economy building a new highway that stretches from Peru all the way to the Atlantic coast of Brazil. So you can check that out when you visit. On Monday the 16th, the high will be 81 degrees Fahrenheit and the low will be 71 degrees. On Tuesday the 17th, the high will be 81 degrees Fahrenheit and the low will be 73 degrees On Wednesday, the 18th, the high will be 82 degrees Fahrenheit and the low will be 70 degrees. On Thursday, the 19th, the high will be 81 degrees Fahrenheit and the low will be 70 degrees. On Friday, the last day, the high will be 81 degrees Fahrenheit and the low will be 70 degrees. Hey, Kaylee! Didn't you say you had something special planned for the us? In the five-day forecast, the highs were 81, 84, 82, 82, and 81. The lows were 71, 73, 70, 70, and 70. Now, the mean of the highs is, is 82. The median is 82, and the mode is 81 and 82. And the range is 3. Now, for the lows, the mean is 70.8. 70 the median is 70. The mode is 70. And the range is 
three. See you back in the studio. Boom! Ow! You blew me off! <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Now I'm Sam with some weather facts. Thanks, Riley. Over here in the capital of Peru, Lima, it is 77 degrees with scattered clouds. In Cusco, it is 63 degrees with a chance, sunny with a chance of rain. Up north in Iquitos, it is 86 degrees, part, mostly cloudy. And in Ilo, it is 75 degrees sunny. In 1986, Arica, Peru faced a massive 9.0 earthquake and tsunami. This killed 25,000 people. This location was then known as Peru, but now known as Chile. Here's what happened. Before and after. Thanks. Back to you in the studio. Hey, where's Riley? Sam? Is he? <laughs> Where, Where is, is he? he? <clears throat> this has been Maximiano News on Channel 3, the greatest news. Goodbye.